what's up it's zed and if you guys watched last episode you know that i am changing the style of editing and i'm going to be doing something of a live stream kind of thing but it's not exactly live stream it's just the premiere and uh, we are starting with the new season this is season three and i'm going to be doing uh two seasons sorry half a season per episode so i'm going to be reaching december in this episode and i'm going to be reaching the end of the season in next episode so hopefully you guys enjoy that and uh before we start I changed the logo of the team. I don't know if there's actually a place where I can see it fully. Uh, no, there isn't. But eventually we will see it fully. Maybe like during our preseason matches or something. I don't know how to play those anyways. So first thing I want to do in this episode is the transfers. So I already got the players that I want to get. I, there are three. I, I, I either want to get Vardio or Schlotterbeck, Frimpong or Dest and Isak or Korea because based on the squad I feel like I need a, a substitute striker a a right back and a new defender because we really don't have a sub right back or that a good enough sub right back um, defender and uh, striker so I mean the best thing to do is actually get an, a player that will be uh, a second team player basically for for Fonseca that's going to be First thing was to replace Cabrera on the bench, and then two people that will replace Flores and Lozano. That's basically what I'm going after. So, um, I think Josko Vardio will be the better of the two options when it comes to um, Vardio and Stotterbeck because he's actually his pace is actually pretty good. His sprint speed is 94. That is fucking crazy. And then uh, his acceleration is 81. That's good enough. Stotterbeck, I mean, he's not that fast. It's not that fast, but I mean, I still. I would still want to get Vardio just because he's faster to be honest and he's, he's younger than Schlotterberg which means that he, he still has more time to grow and stuff like that so I'm going to be approaching him we can get him for 53.8 million so I think no I'm not going to do that I'm going to try and get him for 50 of the bats let's see if that can work all right so 50 million here and my trusty salon clause of 10% and let's see what they say they want kudus I mean that's something I can do but I I, I, jo I legit just got kudus like last season so I'm not really interested in selling him uh, they removed the salon clause so I'm taking this up to 53 million and they want a 5% salon clause that is even better than a 10% so um, I think I think that's good we have just go Guardio and if this doesn't like work out i'm just going to go for stutterbeck but i mean it should work out for now we got to a 53 million that is really good and then frame and on i'm not going to get any of these two until Dest, um his final scouting report is done so for now i think i prefer i would prefer to go for korea because number one he's cheaper right yeah he's cheaper and then he's 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 a player that is not likely to um cause Fonseca any first team issues but I mean he's still good enough to be brought on as a sub from time to time so I'm going to delegate 36 million that is that's what he's currently valued at so I'm going to drop this down to 35 all right so it should be good then let me just do this quick before I go to um, Alexander Isak all right so i mean it's going to be a crucial role right i mean he's not really I'm, I'm going to give him rotation because donovan is actually okay he wants important okay i'm, I'm good with that i mean he he's most likely going to replace donovan pretty soon because i don't know why donovan is not growing as much as he should five years i'm good with that and a really massive release clause but i don't want any release clause because those things can be fucking shit sometimes and then thirty-six thousand pounds that's 340,000 pound signing bonus and you know I'm, I'm good with that I'm good with that we still have a bunch of money after we after we sell this buy this guy rather and who knows maybe we might actually sell a player or two this season I'm not entirely sure about that but this is J Josko Vardio going into our team we have the Sadio Mane in the front bench there <laughs> and then okay that's the logo like bigger and actually I actually like it I actually prefer it to the previous one. It has that Real Madrid vibe of prestige and stuff like that. But I mean, it's not. It doesn't look like the Real Madrid logo. It just shapes the same way. So 
I I I really like I really like the logo to be honest. Fifty three thousand pounds. Let's see million pounds rather. Let's see if this is going to be an A. Yeah, I, 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 oh, it was an A. I don't know why I just kept on skipping to the end, but I mean, we delegated this, so we'll have to wait a little bit for them to agree. So there's a loan offer for Pablo Gutierrez. I think I, I also want to look for. I also want to look for um, the objectives of this episode of this season, rather, to see what we got. I mean, this is still low. Signed to players born in Asia. I'm, I'm most I'm most definitely not going to do that because I mean who who, who in Asia do I know Tomiyasu? I know Tomiyasu. I know um Son. And I'm definitely not going to bring Son into this team anytime soon. So I mean this one I mean is the highest, which means it's, it's the one that has the most priority. So that is pretty fucked up. That that's pretty fucked up. That we 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 will not be able to do that by the end of the season. But I mean I, I might still go for Tomiyasu. I might actually still go for Tomiyasu because he's uh he's from Asia and he's a right back and I need a sub skill right back. So I might actually end up going for him. I'm not sure. And there was also reached the final of the Champions League. Wow, that is <laughs> I mean it's possible. It's possible if I actually focus on the Champions League like crazy. And there was also win the league title. We're finally giving the uh the the go ahead to win the league title, so we absolutely have to do it this time around. We're supposed to win the cup the league cup as well and i mean i'm still not really interested in the youth academy because i mean we have a bunch of young players in our team and we're we're going like to 10 seasons so i mean we we'll, we'll actually still eventually need them do we have anybody in the youth academy right now we have this we have three guys i mean this guy is actually shit but we have peters and we have mareska who might actually do pretty good i think i'm rooting for peters though i mean he, he might actually be a really good player in the future so um i think i think i'm just going to wait till the first of august before i do anything that has to do with uh youth players until i start scouting so i'm just going to skip one week ahead and uh sorry i have a cold and shit so i'm, I'm sorry about that let's see if we have any anything interesting here there's a, there's a transfer offer for Stewart that is the most crazy out of all of them I mean Stewart is my superstar left back <laughs> and nah I'm, I'm, I'm going to block the offers because I don't want any more offers for him we say, we say this is a very very fucking tempting offer and who wants to buy him Spurs Spurs want to buy him it's actually a really fucking tempting offer to be honest 70 million hmm, I think I think I want to keep him for one more season to do that and then he learned to buy for german ramos he's 2069 not really going anywhere in life so i think i'm, I'm, I'm going to accept i mean yeah let's let's do that just in case and then korea's um transfer thing has been accepted 48.8 million i'm good with that so let's go i mean i wanted to buy isaac but since uh he's ready and it's cheap. I mean, I'm, there's no way I'm getting Isaac for cheaper than that. It should be good enough. All right, and we are here. He wants a rotation squad rule. I'm, I'm good with that. And then five years. No, he's too old for five years. So let's take it down to three years, and we're good. And release clause, no release clause. His wages. He wants seventy. I mean, he's currently getting seventy-eight. I think I, I, I could just generously give him a hundred. No signing bonus because I, I do not want that. And uh, we should be good with this. All right, so. If I didn't see wrong, we had 73 million up there just now, and that should be good enough to get um, either Frimpong, Tomiyasu, or Death, depending on if I actually want to eventually get Tomiyasu or not. But I mean, I don't really want to see this cutting. Let's see if we got an A for this deal. Hopefully, we do. Hopefully, we do. And uh, we don't. We get a C. Why do we get a C? Uh, stronger negotiation skills could have saved you 8.7 million on this deal. Alright, so that's the reason we go AC. Great. The best possible deal would have been 40.1. I mean, I feel like if I did the thing myself, I could have actually gotten away with 40.1. I could have, but I mean, the manager, the assistant manager is completely shit when it comes to negotiation, so there's nothing I could have done about that. So we're waiting for, for, um, what's his face? 
uh, Dest, but let's see what Tomiyasu has for us right now. He's 25, so and he's 83. He's currently in Real Madrid. So I think, I think, I think, am I actually, am I actually be okay with buying him? Let's just remove Isak and Schlotterbeck from this right now. I think I might actually be okay with buying him though. I think I might actually, I might actually be okay with buying him. And then I can actually put him in for left and right. Okay, Des can actually play left, left and right. So I might actually get both Des and him if, if, if I want to. 36 million. 36 million. I think, uh, you know what, I'm just going to buy him just because of the board. I mean, I, re I really didn't want to buy him in the first place, but I will buy him just because the board says so. And I will just start this deal at 30 million because I really cannot kill myself. 10% salon clause, please. And please don't ask for any of my players in return, of course. Of course they fucking do. Of course they fucking do. And, um, okay, they basically remove the uh, stuff. So I'm, go I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this up to 32 million. And. Okay, so they did not even want to entertain that at all. So, I mean, we'll eventually come back for this. So, I'll, I will just give him his transfer value straight up. And let's not waste anyone's time at all. So, that's basically it for all the transfers for now. Let's skip to the a week from now and see all that has gone on. I think I think this guy's stuff should be ready by now. That's the 18th. So, I mean, his stuff was 18 days when I scouted for him. And it should be ready by the 18th of July. So... I mean, our first friendly match is going to be against Manchester United. I'm not going to play any of the preseason matches. This shit takes so long to, to fucking load for some reason. Uh, we have three messages. Ramos loan agreement. Donovan transfer offer. Donovan transfer offer. That is really fucking... That is really fucking tempting, though. And it's two. This one, they want to give me Nikola Z Zalewski. Not interested. And this one is the really, really fucking tempting one, the 59... 57.9 for Donovan, which just means that uh, I can actually get both Tomiyasu and and Dest. I mean, I think I can play Tomiyasu as center back if I want to. And I'm, I'm going to delegate this. Let's try and get 85 million for him. And I mean, I mean, we probably wouldn't. It would probably be around 70 something. The final final offer of 60 something, hopefully. And uh, yeah. We can we can go for Tomiyasu again. Let's see let's see let's see what uh, we can offer now. Let's go for thirty six straight up the bats, and obviously sell on close of ten percent. No release, no sell, no additional player, and they want fifty four plus the ten. That is that is actually really fucking huge. So let's drop this down to forty five plus the ten. All right, they have a deal, which means uh, you know what. <laughs> Let's not even fucking think about it. Let's not let's not think about it. And okay, so wait, frame point can play you. Hmm. I mean, I'm actually because because he can play right back and left back. That is why I want him. But I mean, I'm actually just go for death. To be honest, I'm actually just go for death. Hopefully, he's he's actually highly rated. I mean, but since he, he needs to be scouted, he's most likely not even above eighty four. So I mean I, I I don't know yet I haven't made a, a decision regarding regarding um, if I would buy Dest or or Frame Punk I I really wish this was live <laughs> so that I'll actually be able to ask you guys and shit. So um, four years okay I'm good with four years no release clause he wants a rotation a rotation squad role as well so he's getting 140 so I'm, I mean I'm just going to increase that to 150. And I mean, he should be good with that. And yes, so we have Tomiyasu officially in our team now. I think he's 84 or 83. If I remember what his rating was, was 83, right? All right, so subs two right back into the team now. And yeah, is it an A? Is it an A? Definitely has to be an A. Come on. Come on. I did not see. It was an A. Fantastic job. He got the best out of this deal. And he's a good squad player. He's 84 rated at that. So. We have Bardio, Korea, and Tomiyasu. So that is actually good. So when if, if we sell Donovan, we can actually get Des or Frame Pong. That would be good. But then do I really want to sell Donovan though? 
I mean, he has he, he has done really good. He's the one that really that heads a lot. He's, he's he's actually the one that heads really well. So why the fuck did I just sell him? Why the fuck did I just do that? Okay, that was dumb. So um, I'm, I'm most likely not even going to accept that after after I'm done with this. So I mean, I don't know why the desk thing wasn't done yet, but it should be done by the time we're done with this new simulation. All right, we are done with the uh, thing, and we have. Okay, I don't, I don't care about that guy. And then Ponteca, the transfer of for Ponteca, that is really funny. 77 plus Yeri, Yeremi Pino. And I'm just going to block off for Ponteca for now. Kudus, I mean, he, he didn't really do anything in our team last season, to be honest. He didn't really do anything. So I think I think I might just uh, go for, for this and try and get as much as we can for that deal. Then... Um, Zaracho, 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 what can... No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not selling him. Definitely not selling him. Uh, I, I really want this set of players to win win something of 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 value before I start selling them and stuff. I, I even want to keep them for as much as possible. And Okay, so Wolf actually went for uh, 64. I'm going to reject that. And I'm also going to reject... Um, this from inter milan i mean it's good for him but i mean i just want him to stay in the team for a for a little bit longer oh he actually requested to move away from the club oh shit that that is that is fucking sad <laughs> to be honest but uh um, okay we've gone 20 minutes into this video and we're still doing fucking transfer offers and shit but i think i think we should be done okay um Desk, how the fuck did I forget this? Alright, so he's 82, that is really good, and he can play right back and left back. He's valued at 33. And the team doesn't even want to sell him. The team doesn't fucking want to sell him. So I think I think I'm done because we got Tommy Yasu. I don't want to get Tommy Yasu on a frame point because that really doesn't make any fucking sense because I'm not selling Zara too. So I, I think we're basically done with the um transfers for this first half of the season. I'll I'll check how much we have in a bit. I don't know why. Ponteca has a fucking red card. Really don't know why he does. And let's just bring in the new players. So Korea for that guy, Lozano for Tomiyasu, and Yosko Vardio for Flores. So I, th I think it's a really solid team. It's a really fucking solid team. And if Kudus goes, then I think I think um, who's the person? Someone might come in. Maybe Torres or Bustos. Most likely Bustos might come into the team. To stay alongside Bart, something like that, and yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Everybody in, in the reserves are basically players that came in with the team, so I'm I'm, I'm pretty much good with this uh, team sheet. Let's change the second one real quick. Okay, um, yeah, there we are too. So I just want to bring in the guys I'm supposed to bring in: Vardio, Tomiyasu, and. Korea, so that should be that should be okay. One player from Asia has entered into the team, and since Donovan wants to go, I think I might actually I might actually bring in Schlotterbeck just for the sake of it. We have 21 million, so if Donovan goes, we should have enough money for something. Yeah, so I want to simulate all the way to the first of August because I want to see how well we do in the preseason with the team we have right now, and. Well, first match against Manchester United. I really don't know why the um, calendar seems really slowly. It's really annoying. But I mean, I might have to actually skip through time. Just look at this. We win Manchester United 3-1. That is really good. I, I mean, I really wish I'm playing these matches, but I can't because of time and all. But uh, we should we should have a really good preseason. And with the team we have, our team is really fucking strong right now. We even defeated Atletico Madrid five, and we draw against Arsenal. <laughs> 1-1. One, one. I mean, I'm, I have no complaint to that. We defeated Adelio Madrid 5. That was that was crazy. So we're at the first. So let's see if there are any... I mean, there should be an offer for Donovan, if I'm not wrong. Of course there is. And then, could you say agreement? Uh, 45. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to accept for that. And then, these guys want... Uh, they want to give me GS for Lindstrom. And I do not want the fucking exchange player, to be honest. Get the fuck. And... Let's try and get 70, 70 million out of this deal. Uh, nothing less than 60, please. Nothing less than 60. I mean, I want to get as much 
out of this blog I possibly can. I don't know why he even submitted a, a transfer offer when he actually plays a lot. I mean, there there isn't even a player that can play a, a, ahead of him in this team. So what, why before is he doing that? But it's a decision. Maybe he wants to go to a club that is bigger. He he, he hasn't seen. Oh shit! I forgot to do the uh, squad thing, youth academy thing. But I mean, let's just do it now. All right. So we have someone from Netherlands, and I think I want to take this guy to you no know, well let's see if he can get anyone from his country to serve our team really well nine months so i want to do nine months i think i'm okay with nine months nine months and any all right so that's for the first and then for umberto sanberto from italy let's go to asia let's see if we can actually get this asia thing from here should i do korea or should i do japan i think i think i'll do japan first but just three months though three months let's see if we can actually get anyone from there in three months and then the last one we have okay, we, do, we do not have a five five all five star rated scout so let's just hold on for that for now hold on with that for now and all right so i, th I think we should be good we should be good so let's simulate all the way to the next week our first match in the la liga against big against espanol that 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 should be tough i think it should be tough basically but I mean, we might actually end up with the win. I'm not going to play that much. I'm going to simulate it. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to play the one against Villarreal, the, the full match at that. Frankfurt have accepted for 60.74 for Donovan. Kudus has been sold for 45.9. And um, Asian Elite Cup performance. We actually we didn't win. Okay, that's that, that's what we said. I, I, I can't remember if we won against um, that team, Bergamo Castle or not. What is the loan to buy from Mertens? He's 60, he's 17 and 61. Well, that's good enough. So I think I'm just gonna um, send him out for a two-year loan. Maybe he might actually come out, come back as a beast. And then Zarachu, sorry, Donovan, leaving the club at for 60.7 million. So hopefully that's actually a good enough deal. Hopefully. And I, I don't think I'm buying any other person, to be honest. I don't think I'm buying anyone else. But since since uh this guy is leaving, I'm actually get get a center back but not not right now I, I would i don't want to buy any anyone else to be honest for now since i'm done with the transfer the transfer window i'm just going to sim to the villarreal match and we will start the first match of the season there we are here at the villarreal match we actually lost to bergamo calcio 2-1 that's sad and then we won our first match in la liga uh with three three, three goals to one against espanol and now we have the match against villarreal let's see if there are any Okay, that's my, that was a lot of fucking messages. Okay, James offer we join. So basically, the return of ZH, Bat, Rise, another one for James. Okay, uh, the number was sold there, and we get six for that. Uh, Ramos loan offer, that one was withdrawn, withdrawn rather. So I'm going to reject this. Uh, this as well, obviously. Batch. I, I don't think I want to sell Batch. I mean, I, I could sell Batch. I mean, he's 23 and 82. He's not really going anywhere right now. So, I mean, it might be it might be wise to sell him. But if I sell him, who can I buy? There's actually a bunch of players I can buy to replace Batch. I mean, right now we have a look at Telly that is actually more of a first team player. So, I mean, I, I I will think of a player to buy if I want to sell him. So I'm I'm just going to delegate this. And try and get the most out of that deal. And then I'm going to not answer for Zaracho and wait, but all right, and no, no, nothing for Rise as well. All right, we have our first match against Villarreal, and this is the best time for me to show you guys the kits. So this is our home kit. Obviously, you guys have seen it, and then this is the away kit. It basically has the same color color pattern as last last season. Is the the navy blue, then the light blue, and then the white. Then as for our away kit, it's not black this time, it's gold. And I mean, that's not gold, but that's the closest to gold you can get to on the on the edit thing. And then we have the zigzag stripes on on the on the on the shirts, the navy blue zigzag stripes. So that's basically it. So I'm going to be using our home kit, obviously, and I'm going to give them the alternate because I mean, it's it completely contra contrasts each other. So we're going to be going with this team. Nothing more, nothing less. But Donovan is out of the team, so Vardu is getting his uh, first team action for the first time, and this is really good for for the fuck. Okay, Kudus went out of the team, which means <laughs> I'm actually have I'm actually need to get a uh, a replacement for that ASAP. So I'm I'm going to put Bustos here. 
Okay, and we should be we should be good. We should be good. Yeah, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully we should be able to defeat defeat uh Villarreal. We've defeated them like a bunch of times this series. I think it's only once they've won us. And we've absolutely demolished them every other time. They beat us in the in the very first ever match we played in the first season. The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it. And this should be something special on the pitch. It's coming up next, live on EA TV. Alright, as I was saying, we've defeated them every every single time. And the first time that we... That they beat us was the very first match we played when we were very, very inexperienced in the league. But okay, these guys are talking too loud. I just have to to drop this. I keep on I keep on increasing it back because I I'm doing that World Cup thing right now. What did I just do? Alright, uh I think I need to disable this. And then take this down to two. Alright, so we're good. Anyways, I was saying we're we're a much better team now. I think we're we are a way stronger team both on paper and on the pitch. So, I mean, okay, not on the pitch because we don't know if it's on the pitch or not. But let's see if we are going to be able to get yet another win against Villarreal in this match. Hopefully, we can. I really, I really need us to. Okay, they have Coman. They have Richarlison. Okay, they had Coman last season, and I was wondering why the hell Coman left Bayern to come to Villarreal. But I I don't really see any other um. Uh, dangerous players on that lineup. Richardson and Coleman have to be the most dangerous. So let's start. Fonteca kicks off, and this is the start of our Champions League season. Yeah, I mean we shouldn't really lose in this season at all. Okay, that would have been closed if if it actually went through. Okay, Vardio should be fast enough to catch Coleman, and he apparently is not. That was really good defending from Helvig. Really, really good defending. And now we have something of a chance, and we lose the ball yet again. Okay, we need to we need to hold possession right now. We absolutely need to hold possession. Okay, he was offside. That is good. So, what do we have? Okay, I'm, I, I, I'm talking about holding possession, and I'm giving away stupid-ass passes like that. Come on. All right, so... Who's there? I see German, but oh, it actually, it actually worked out. It actually worked out, but I mean, I just wasn't ready for that, so it were, I wasn't able to direct it into the post properly. But that was a good, good first chance. I mean, there's many more to come. Okay, this is bad. This is bad, but more. That was a scuffed shot, so not really my problem. You actually need to be more careful in this match need to be way careful okay go nobody nobody okay there's someone please okay it was a really really my new header but we have something of a chance here let's hope oh shit shit he was able to head it straight to Fonseca that would have been so good if he actually came off and come on, come on, can we like hold the fucking ball here? Please. Who's there? Okay, that was that was good. That was good. Good from Zaracho. Shit. Shit. I mean he was, he was already offside. I couldn't take the risk of making that pass. We're actually defending really well. It's the midfield and the strikers are doing absolute fucking shit for for me right now, and I need I need I need something better. I need something fucking better than what you're giving us right now. And come on, just hold the fucking ball, please. There's still time, though. There's still time, and this is good. Oh my god! Oh my god! You fucking missed that. <laughs> Sorry, how do you fuck? How do you fucking miss that, bro? That was a golden, golden fucking opportunity, and that just went straight to the crowd. Oh my god! Of course, of course. <laughs> That's that is annoying because they really do not deserve to score that. They really do not deserve to score that at all. 
and it, it was so easy like it's so fucking easy for them to just get through my fucking defense like how how the hell how the hell do you even get that and what well, i mean i can't really blame vandre for not saving that because it was it was it was a very very it was really really bad defending let's see if we can do something nice here please and of course of course you fucking run faster than a freaking 99 99 pace player because that just makes so much fucking sense in fifa fifa loads that makes so much fucking sense thank you that was outside all right so that was good and there's basically no time no fucking time for for a counter attack there we have to fucking sit up we have to we absolutely have to fucking sit up because what we're doing right now is making no fucking sense at all i mean the way we're playing i mean we are playing better obviously in my opinion we are playing better but uh the team is just not doing enough it's not doing enough in front of goal and we really need we really need we really need fonseca german and Rizzi to actually pull something out of the bag right now and get get us a win in this match please thank you so what do we have what the fuck okay my controller just went off let's hope nothing bad happens right now fuck of course of course you fucking score me when my controller is off what the hell what the hell and, and now we come back on uh -huh. that is so annoying that is so fucking so bloody annoying now we have two goals we have two goals to come back from we can do it come on we can we can absolutely not like that you bloody cunt fucking pass very well could this match is beginning to annoy me to be honest this match is absolutely beginning to annoy me because i have no idea what the fuck these guys are doing i just brought in maduke let's see if this could work if i just seclude german get the ball out to him and then Make you run for it and of course that doesn't fucking work out. Who am I who am I bloody kidding? That was a good interception. And we should have a good chance. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. This match has been absolute fucking shit. I'm going to say it again, we do not What? What was that? I would say the game we did not deserve, we did not deserve to lose this match, but of course that is what is fucking happening, how are they fucking scoring us three? Good, 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 good. Oops, sorry about that. These guys are about to defeat us 3-0 in our, in, our in our own home. Have no idea what the hell is up with the team. Have no fucking idea what the hell is up with the team that... They are unable to get one or two passes together. Look at that. You can't they cannot hold the freaking ball. I'm literally spamming the pass button and it takes them forever to make a freaking make a freaking pass. But the way the way the AI holds the ball is so is so irritating because it's it's so it's so it's so unreal. It's so fucking unreal and it's really not even supposed to be that way at all. I see I see a really good chance for German. And I see Fonseca there and of course that goes that goes wide of him. Right, so we have somewhat of another chance and of course nothing nothing comes of comes out of that. This is not how I wanted us to start the season. <sighs> Damn. But you just score it. Thank you. Thank you. At least you can score something. Damn. This this has been a really bad match. Really fucking bad match. And Fonseca doesn't even get the freaking credits. <laughs> And why are they passing so bad? 
why why is their passing so bad please come on come on i just need cold i just needed you to i just needed you to get that fast enough but we have a really good really good chance here i'm going to give it to fonseca let's hope you can do something for me here hopefully you can hopefully you can please that was straight at the fucking keeper We actually cannot hold the ball. We actually cannot hold the ball. Alright, so we, we have about five minutes left. Please, please, please. The fuck? You know what? I mean, you're getting the book out of my team right now. Because I have no idea what the fuck you are, you, you are doing with your life, to be honest. So I'm going to bring someone someone in that that might actually do something better okay so we have German of course of course who the fuck am I kidding we freaking lose 3-1 to fucking Villarreal in our very first match this was the most unfair match in the history of all the fucking matches we've had against this team because I don't even understand how the fuck we can play so much. I mean, we, I won't even say we play better because we just kept on fucking up every single one of our passes. Every single fucking key pass, the players fucked it up. For some reason. I needed them to play a lot better than this. I needed them to play a lot fucking better than this. And look at that. Oh, that was a new stadium, by the way. I forgot to talk to you guys about it. But, I mean, you really can't see it anymore. So, Fonteca really fucked us up in this match to be honest he really fucked us up in this match we played better in the first half but in the second half we, they just completely switched off and they couldn't do anything right anymore and that that is fucked up we were now eighth eighth on the league eighth in the league we have athletic club next so that's going to be one hell of a tough ass match next uh bachelor agreements they they are uh, agree for 34 i'm going to agree and um uh, we should have who, who do I want to buy? Who do I want to buy? How much do we have? Let's check how much we have first of all. Uh, we should have about um, um, 80. We should have over 80 or about 80 or something like that. So let's see what we do. Oh, we have 116. That is actually that's actually really good. Let's look at these scouts. And who, who, who do I want to buy exactly? I need I need a new DM. A new DM. Declan Rice is another really good option. I think I think Declan Rice could be a really good option for us. And I actually want to get a new keeper. The hmm, La Font. I mean, he looks like he looks like he looks like I might want to get him. Uh, De Jong, this guy is really fucking expensive, so I'm I'm not getting him anytime soon. So I think I might go for Declan Rice or. Having Phillips, who knows? I'm still looking at if there's anybody here that that can actually. Pedri is going to be really fucking expensive. Uh, yeah, this is really fucking tough. I'm looking for a DM, and DMs are so fucking hard to come by. This guy, Ronnie Schmidt, he's he's probably a youth player. Cause I have no idea who the fuck this is, and he's really highly rated. So. There's a possibility that I might I might get him. I might just get him. And this would be a really, really good addition to the team. And he's 21 at that. 21 at 88. So I think I think that is actually a really good a really good um deal. That is a really good find right there. So I'm I'm going straight into the uh what do they call it? Transfer hub. And where's his face? Ronnie Schmidt. He's from he's in Bayern. He plays CDM and um, right back. Looks like it looks like he should be a a, a Kimmich a Kimmich region. And yeah, he's really fucking good, really fucking good. So eighty nine million. I think I think we should be able to get we should be able to get this deal. Eighty nine million. That is that is a lot. But I, I'm I'm going to start a ninety out of respect for Bayern and ten. I mean, really, they're really not going to agree. They want Zaracho. I don't want to give them Zaracho, sorry. So 90, let's get that back to 90. 
and they want 114 we can actually do 114 but oh shit the tension is actually really fucking high okay let's take this up to uh 100 and let's give them a, a, a 15 percent selling clause and okay so that actually worked out so 100 million for this new guy uh running schmidt and that should be good that should be good so he's a right back and he and a cdm so that's actually really good for us that's actually really really fucking good for us so i mean obviously he's going to be playing that um crucial role i mean if if if, if his if his pace is actually pretty good i think i might actually play him at that right back position possibly or no no i, th I think i'm just going to leave him at the uh at the what do they call it at the dm position uh 46 420 i think i think i'm pretty much good with that so that's pretty much all of the transfers for this for this episode we have um a long ways to go before we get to december so this episode might actually reach might actually get just over an hour and 30 minutes hopefully it doesn't reach two hours or something like that <coughs> so uh i mean that should be an a right i mean i, I doubt it's an a because that's 100 million but i mean if it is an a that would be shocking it is an a that's actually really good great first first great starting exile and hmm i think he's going straight into into the starting 11. i don't know if he should come in for locatelli definitely going to come in for locatelli that is really good that is a really good player right there and his pace is actually pretty okay for a for a dm84 that is really that is really good so i think I, I think i'm going to do a development schedule for all the new guys that sorry for all the new guys that i brought into the team but before i do that whoops what the fuck am i doing i just need to change change uh i think i might leave locatelli there before i'm going to bring this guy in yeah so i, I think this should be good this should be this should be very good yep very good i think i think i will leave in no no never mind then as for the development schedules i think he should be high oh yeah he's really he's really highly rated he's 88 straight up to to joint first rated players in the team i'm going to block the offers immediately because i really do not plan on selling this beast anytime soon his he's six two. That is really good. Six one is that fast. Uh, okay. So what do I want right now? I think I think this should be okay for now. I mean, his his. I, I don't really need him to be scoring any goals. So his finishing and all that stuff isn't really doesn't really need to be that high. So I want to work on his defense defense for now. So that should be that should be good. Who else did I bring to the team? I brought in Vardio, and. He didn't really do i mean he did really well in the last match in the first half by the way but after that he completely fucked up no way nothing is happening for for korea and then tomiyasu wide back i think i'm going to go for wide back attacking i think i think i might do attacking for tomiyasu so we have athletic club next and i think the next match i want to play has to be this one against barcelona but i'm not going to play the full match i'm going to play on um, the playable highlight of that when did i when did i um ask for the uh youth academy i think that was the third so i'm going to just seem to the third of 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 september and uh get the hopefully we have a bunch of youth players that are actually good enough hopefully i'm crossing my hands i'm crossing my fingers that we do i mean you guys can see it for crossing we draw our first match that is that is fucking stupid it's fucking stupid <sighs> so our first match we draw we haven't really had a really good start to to this season to be honest it's been a very poor fucking start to the season and we have a bunch of offers which i really not care about oh bus transfer oh shit <laughs> oh fucking shit which means we have one one more player i think i think i might actually switch bash to a cb possibly because there's there's just I mean, now that I brought that guy, I can't, I, I can't remember what his name is. It's going to be really hard for me to play him in the first team. There's no one here that is good enough for me. That is fucking stupid. So the first month in Japan has been a complete and utter waste. But let's see if Netherlands has something for us. Nope, they do not. They still do not. 
God, this is gonna be so fucking disappointing sometimes. Damn, nothing at all. We got absolutely nothing from from the entire uh, thing. So, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? All right, so I think I'm pretty much done. So I'm just going to sim all the way to the Barcelona match. They've changed it, and you know what? I think I think I would start with this match in the Champions League because Champions League matches are the priority right now in this series, in this in this season rather. So let's see. Hopefully, we can win this next match against Girona. I really need us to be able to win that match because we are we have done really bad. We've won a match, we've lost a match, and we have we have. Um, drawn a match so we need we need a a better start to the season to be honest i really i'm really really pissed off to have this thing moving so slow i have no idea why if you guys know why please let me know please i beg so we win our match against hirona and now we are in the match against Bayer Leverkusen. so this will be a really tough match but we're playing play the playable highlights and i am definitely i'm definitely not doing the attack only highlights because because that 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 thing is so fucking stupid. It is so bloody fucking stupid to be honest. And it it, it does no justice to how well you play. So uh am I making any changes? I might be. Fonteca didn't really do well in the last match, to be honest, but I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt and let him play in this match. I'm going to bring Ziyech in for Rise and yeah, I'm I'm just going to switch this. For now, is, is that wise? No, I think I'm going to leave Kallenberg on, on for now. And, uh, since Bart is here, wait, is there anybody else? Uh, all right, so Bart and Locatelli are going to be on the bench. That is good ish. So we have no one, I mean, we have Rise to and ZH for, for that CAM role. So I, th I think we should be good. We should be good with this match. So hopefully, hopefully, we can actually win it. I'm, I'm really crossing my fingers that we can win this match because we, ha we, we haven't really had the best of luck in this season so far. Right, so we are in the new stadium, the new Estadio, Co Estadio de Cojetes. And uh, this, 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 this match is going to be fucking tense because the first match of the Champions League and I want us to be able to start, start really, really well. We should have more attacking options if I'm not wrong. Of course we don't. <laughs> I don't even know how good this Leverkusen team is to be honest, but... I mean, I mean, since it's an attacking option, sorry, a defensive thing. Okay, we, we headed straight to them and... What? Okay, let's just get the keeper back. Anything can freaking happen with this with this thing, but I, I, think, I think we're clear. So, please, tell me the next one is a... Okay, good. It's a corner for us. And... 42nd minute. Alright, let's see if this will work. Hopefully it does. Why, why, why are you running so slow, bro? Why the hell are you running so slow? Come on. Alright, so we have a counter-attack. This looks pretty good. This looks really, really fucking good. Right here. And I'm going to give it to German. Who was just a better option. So come on, score this. Why, why is it looking so, so slow? Why, why is the game looking so fucking slow? I mean, they are running so slow. It's so annoying. Okay, please, at least protect, protect, protect the the team. Protect the. What am I saying? Okay, that was good. And we have one one last counter attack here. This has this one has to has has to work out. Come on. What? Come why why is this game like this? Why the fuck is this game like this? Why the fuck is this game like this? I pressed that shit down for that ball to go straight to the edge and look at what. You know what? Oh, it's no it's point dwelling on it. I, I hate this game so much. I fucking hate this game. This game this game can be absolute shit sometimes. Most of the time it can be absolute shit when it wants to absolutely fuck you up. It, 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 it shows no fucking mercy. No fucking mercy at all. I'm simming straight to the Barcelona match. That was a real letdown. To be honest, and we lose against Cadiz. Oh my God! Let's just get relegated in this in this episode, shall we? Rather than this season.
I mean, we could just get relegated. That that really wouldn't be a fucking problem, would it? Why the hell do they keep giving me that formation? This is what I really want to use. So, come on. You know, I think I think I'm going to have to change that. I I really do not know why why it keeps on going back to the second formation. I mean, I want to use it when I I want to, not not because the game wants me to. So, wait, I have a couple. Okay, nothing of of any importance. Oh shit. <laughs> Well, that sucks. That fucking sucks. So, um, the Barcelona match is next, and I think I want to wear our alternate kit for this because I can. So, I'm not making any change to starting eleven, and I mean, should I? No, I shouldn't. Should I? I think I think I will bring in Locatelli for James, who is now going to be the captain. Helvig, okay, I mean, I really have no, no, um, objections there. I was supposed to get a striker. I was supposed to get a fucking striker, so why the fuck is, okay. <laughs> I got, I got confused for a second there. Alright, so, the match against Barcelona, this should be, this should be really tough. They should have more attacking options, I think. But we, be, we, we beat them last, last season, at the, at the end of last season. The last match we played against them, we won, and we should we should we should be able to win this match. That match against against Villarreal was fucking stupid, to be honest. I'm, I mean, that thing is still paining me, still paining me because we could have done. I mean, we could have done so much better. I don't know why the team was was absolutely fucking up and doing shit that they weren't supposed to do. But I mean, really nothing we can do about it. So let's start this match. Let's hope that. Uh, Okay, so they have a corner kick right off the bat, and we should be able to defend this. Who is that person with number three? Hopefully, he's no one that can actually cause us any troubles. Hopefully. Thank you. Alright, so they have a solo run, of course. They're great. How did they even have a solo run this, this, this fast? Like, come on. Jesus, I mean, I mean, I mean, there's nothing that I could have done about that. I mean, the defenders were in all the wrong fucking places. How, how is someone supposed to even defend that in the first place? How is someone supposed to actually defend that? Okay, we have our own solo run. Uh, and, and just watch, our, our, our player is going to be so fucking slow right now. Or not. Please, Rise. Rise, you're my only hope right now. Please. What? I mean, at least let me know if he's going inside the post or not. That is fucking bullshit. That is absolute fucking bullshit. Damn. Alright, so we still have the ball to reset. And of course not. Of course, of course not. We have what? How 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 does it switch all the way from from oh God? At least. God, 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 this game, this game, this game, this game, this game, this game is absolute, this game is fucking me up so bad, this game is fucking me up so bad, this game is fucking me up so bad, I look, <laughs> I look like a fucking shit player right now, because this game is doing nothing, nothing to help me out right now, I mean we are jumping from the 30 something minutes to the, to the fucking 88 minute, to the 88 minute rather, like how how is that even how is that even fucking happening? How is that fucking happening anyway whatsoever? All right, so I think the next match I want to play will be against Real Betis. So let's hope that uh, we can actually do really well from now. We lose against that team. What the fuck is that team that we're losing against them? Like it, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. I I, I forgot that we have uh, youth players to scout. Now this this, this episode is, is 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 absolute fucking shit. To be honest, this episode is fucking bullshit. There's no one. There's no one. I mean, this episode is going so bad. That we, we can't even get anyone to sign. I mean, they're all they're all shit. They are literally all shit. Let's see what we have in in Japan. Let's hope that we can at least get something out of this. Okay, so this guy might be good. His potential is good, and that's the only reason why I am going to sign him right now. 
just because of his potential. Nothing else. Everyone else, okay, this guy too. This guy seems really good. His potential too is really good. So those are the only reasons I'm signing. I'm signing those guys. Other than that, I, 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 I wouldn't really, I, I wouldn't really bring anybody else into this team because everybody is absolute fucking shit. I'm, I'm not even going to bother myself with trying to reject every single one of them. Yeah, let's go back to what we we're doing before. We simmed all the way to Real Betis. Should I? Okay, I, I think I'm just going to go to the Atletico Madrid match and let's hope that we we do really well. Let's hope we do really well. I mean, to be honest, from what we've done so far in this season, I doubt that we're going to win it. I honestly doubt we're going to win anything, to be honest, because, I mean, bro, bro, we could have done so much better in all the matches we've played. I mean, apart from the apart from the um, the the highlights that we did, those ones were absolute fucking shit. There's, not, there's nothing I could have done to win those matches, to be honest, because because every, every, everything was just fucking bullshit. We draw against Real Betis, but we've done well. Like in all, all all the all the other matches apart from that that loss against um what's their face uh that team AGK or something like that in 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 the Champions League. So Real Madrid is first. They are five points ahead of us. I mean we still have a lot of room to win this league. Uh, Sevilla Sevilla and Villarreal are right ahead of, ahead of us. Uh, we have Atletico Madrid next, and I think I think I'm going to play this match like the full the full match. I, th I think I'm going to do that, but I think I think I saw a Real Madrid match pretty close. No, no, I did not. Real Madrid. Wait, wait, when is the Real Madrid match? What the fuck? Have we already played them? Okay, so we have our first Real Madrid match there, and I don't think we've played Real Madrid already. I don't think we've played them. No, we haven't played them. So I, I, I'm going to I'm going to. Um, play the, the let's go madrid match this is going to be the last full match i'm going to play for this episode though and yeah I, I, i'm taking Fonteca out i have no idea what the fuck man is doing in this match to be honest but oh my god schmidt is already on an 80 89 that is good uh german as well so those two are the highest highest players in the team right now and we say he's unhappy why how do i do what the fuck is unhappy but um let's just see if we can't get a win in this match, I mean, hopefully we should be able to get a win. Please, I'm begging the gods, I need a win in open play in this match because I'm beginning to feel like I, <laughs> I am shit. So we defeated them five 0 in the last last episode. So I mean, let's hope that we're able to 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 repeat that. We have the home buff yet again, and uh, and of, of course they have the fucking top scorer in the league in their team. <laughs> so I mean, this is not looking it's not looking really good for us at all. We are the Asadio Cohetes and we are going up against um, Atletico Madrid. Last time we played against them, we absolutely fucking embarrassed them, to be honest. And I don't know why that thing is integrated into the grass. I mean, it should be on top of the grass. I have no idea why it's not. But uh, uh, I need I need a win in this episode. I need a real, a win real, real bad in this episode. So let's hope that we can. Uh, possession. Possession is what I need to win this match, so possession is what I will I will do in order to win this match. <laughs> God, God, I, I fucked myself up so many times. I mean, come on, come on, can I get a pass in this episode? Can I get a good fucking pass in this episode? Jesus. That was a good save from from, from Bandre. I, I have no idea what I have no idea what the fuck the team is doing. No idea what the hell the team is doing. Please get the ball. Of course you don't. Of course you fucking don't. Of course you fucking don't. No one has anything for us right now. And they are fucking killing us. Just take this out. Alright. We have nothing. Of course we have nothing. Okay. Alright, so that, that would have been good if that went off. That came off rather. Alright, so I see I see German. I see you. What? I mean it didn't even go to him. It went to Brise and that was completely off. Alright, so I see a chance and the chance is dead. 
But I still see the chance. Thank you. Please jump, that was the offside. That was the offside. And that is the first goal. <sighs> Finally, we're scoring a goal from... <laughs> Okay, okay, we scored against we scored against Villarreal. But finally we are scoring a goal in this match. I mean it's been it's been so long and I and I really I feel like I really needed this. I really needed this goal for, for morale and confidence for the team. That was a really good goal. That was a really, really fucking good goal. Let's see if we can just capitalize on that. Try and keep keep a clean sheet in this match. That's my goal right now. And not to pass to players that are currently on the fucking ground. Alright. Thank you. Of course, of course, of course. How the hell? How the hell did they even get away with that? Thank you, Bardio. You've done really well, to be honest. Since I got you. Okay. I see. I see you, Stewart. Who is there? No one is fucking there. Kallenberg, maybe, and I mean, it was even going high. I'm pretty sure it wasn't on target. Pretty sure it wasn't on target, but Old Black just had to get a save on that. No one is coming. Is there anyone coming? No one. Of course. Ha Why the fuck would Joe Scovardio be coming? And, and that was a really good corner, but that was a really fucking poor header. Really, really fucking. Oh, it was actually a deflection. That is, that is somewhat good, I guess. Oh, he actually, he actually still gets... That's not that surprising. I actually still gets the ball. What? That was not who I fucking passed to. Come on. I don't know if it's my controller that is fucking me up or if it's the game that's just absolute... I honestly don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just beyond frustrated right now, to be honest, because there's a lot of shit that shouldn't be happening this match that is, that is happening. I, th I think I might bring Fonseca on sooner or later because we might need we might need his speed right now. But that was that was that was good. Oh, now let's try and find German. And come on, why 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 would you miss that? Why would you fucking miss that? Okay, I, th I think it's time to bring in to bring in uh Fonseca. Korea has done has done nothing this much, nothing that I've seen by the way. So let's see if Fonteca can actually can actually redeem himself in this match because he, I don't know what the team is doing. I mean, he did really well last season. I don't know what he's doing this season. I don't know why he's fucking up so much. I really don't know why he's fucking up so much. But okay, that's a good chance of the bat. Scores, please. Why was that so tame? I expected him to blast it into the freaking into the freaking post. All right, that was good. Okay, let's try and defend this as best as possible. Please, I do not need them to score right now. We haven't gotten a second goal. Come on. Okay. German, is it going to get to you? It doesn't. Who else is there? Brise, please, I need, I need that free kick. Thank you. I need that fucking free kick. ASAP. Red card? No, it's going to be yellow card, obviously. No card? How the hell does that, does that tackle get no card? Okay, I think I would bring Tomiyasu on for his debut. I mean, he probably has played, but uh, this is going to be the first time I was playing with him. So, I mean, it's, it's not the best time for us to do that, really. So, Kallenberg is on this. I mean, you should you should be able to score this, right? You should be able to score this, please. Please. Oh, God. I, I really need to work on this, on this, uh, things. But, I see. I see Fonseca. Doesn't really good get to him. Second chance, no second chance. Okay, so we might still have an opportunity for... Okay. Please. Nope, does not work out. Thank you, I got, I definitely got the ball there. I definitely got the ball there. Score it. Oh my god. Oh my god, this guy does not want to score in this episode. This guy legit does not want to score. That was a golden freaking opportunity right there. That was the best opportunity of the entire match. 
obviously, obviously the uh, the German one was the best of the full team, but I mean, you guys can do. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. Wow. This game really, really doing the most. Passing to the very people I did not really want to pass to at all. Let's see what Tomiyasu can do here. Okay, that was that was good enough. And oh, come on, come on! I needed to pass that faster. I needed to fucking pass that faster. All right, so that is might be good. Might be okay. That was really good. That was really good. Like, finally, finally he has scored. Finally, he has also scored. At least we have some breathing room right, right now. So we should be able to. We should be able to take this home. We should be able to take this home. That was that was a really good goal. I really I really hate this replay thing. I really hate it so much. So I'm going to watch it. Okay, what do we what do we have? Okay, that was that was good. Thank you. So we have a front three, front three goal. All right, that's good. Rise, Fonteka, and German. Possibly the best front three yet to come. I mean, in, in a bit, they might just be the best front three. I mean, Rise, Rise is the only one that's lacking. I mean, Fonteka and 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 uh, German are above eighty-seven. So, I mean, we're just waiting for Rise. I, for some reason, I keep on forgetting to change his number to eleven. I don't think there's any other 11 in the team right now, but that was a really, really well, really good goal. I think it was, it was a, okay, no, 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 German was not involved in that, in that build-up. So, three goals to Atletico Madrid. I mean, they are, we, we are literally always going to defeat these guys. I mean, this match has shown me that much. This match and last match has shown me that much. Come on, come on. I mean, you get, you could have gotten that. Good, good collection from... Andre. Okay, that didn't work out. Oh, he actually still he actually was still able to get a foot on that. So we might be able to get this. Yes, we do. Crap. That that didn't work out how I planned it to. And we still have another goal. Yet another one. Okay, we cannot hold the ball anymore. I think we've had we've had our fill of, of goals in this match, and uh, all right. So we we could just waste time. Let's go to the corner. No point in doing that. No point in doing that. Yeah. So that that is the first win of this match. That is it. That that was a really good win, to be honest. First win, first win of from open play, and I'm really I'm, I'm honestly really happy about that. This team actually did really good in this match. We we dominated them like crazy. There was even a point where we had 66 possession, and that was good enough. And uh, Champions League match. I think I think we should play this next one. I don't think there's any team in our in our group that is that I I, I should be interested in playing. But if it's if it's against those guys that that defeated us, I'm definitely I'm definitely going to play it. If if it's against them, I'm definitely going to play. But no, it's against Brené. And when are we going to play these guys though? I think that's the next match I want to play. Yeah, so. Or let me. There should be. Okay, Leverkusen. I want to play Leverkusen and then I'll play those guys after after, after after I'm done with Leverkusen match. So hopefully we get the win. We do not. We do not. I, 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 need, to, I need to look at the Champions League table to see where we are. We win against Almeria. That is good. And now we have. Uh... Oh, she was supposed to have a, a uh, youth academy thing in this month. I, I completely forgot about that. Unless unless we have already done that. Have we? Oh yeah. Alright, so we have this guy. He's he's fairly good. His 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 put his rating could be could be sixty something. I hope. And then this guy is shite. This guy might be good as well. His his overall is really good, but his sorry, his potential his potential is really good. And since we don't have that many players, I think I might just go for him. No one else. No one else. Yeah. So, I mean, there was nothing in 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 Japan. So I think I think we're done for Japan. So, uh, we might I might want to to get another another scouting thing going. 
the third, right? Okay, so I'm I'm looking at the two for the third before I I do the next um, scouting report. We are we want yet another match in the league, so that's three matches in a row. And now we have Leverkusen, so we are away from home, right? All right, so hmm. Obviously, I'm playing attack only. This this Schmidt guy is growing like fucking crazy. He's already on a ninety. First player in our team to reach a ninety. We have Fonseca on eighty eight. Uh. Stewards on 86, Vardio has gotten into a, has gotten to an 84. I don't think there's anybody I want to <coughs> replace for this match. Fonseca did really well in the last match, really, really fucking well in the last match. He got a goal and an assist after he came on in the second half, and that's really good for him. Now we have we have a Leverkusen. They start with a penalty in the 21st minute. That that sucks. Hopefully, hopefully we can actually win one of these playable highlights in this match. Hopefully we can. And I'm I call left. Thank you. Thank you, Bandre. Hopefully we have a good enough... Okay, we have a solo run. And let's hope that... Uh, Mr. Allegra can actually... Do well. What the hell happened there? Okay, so we have a free kick. And I think I think I might... I might go for this. I think I might, I might, I might go for this. What's his curve like? Uh, his curve is 80. So his curve isn't really that good. So I'm just going to use power above anything else. I, th I think that was too much. That might have been too much. Strange with the keeper's gloves. We have an attack. I, I see. I see German. So he might be the best course of attack there. Please. Please. What? What? Why? Why does that? Why would that happen? Why? Why the fuck would that happen? Can this game please stop fucking me up? Okay, we have a really good, really good chance here. Please do not fuck me up. Please do not fuck me up. Wow. I mean, that's all I can say. Wow. That's all I can fucking say right now. Okay, so. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Fonteca. Okay. All right, so what was that? What, what the hell was that? Why does that actually keep on happening? Because I was done with this. I have a feeling it's my controller. I have a feeling it's my controller because there's no reason for this game to keep on doing shit all the bloody fucking time. Okay, who's there? No one seems to be. Can you, like, score? But, okay, so we have one one last chance. This has to be the last chance. And I see, I see, I see German. And, of course, take one million years before you make a fucking decision there. And, of course, of course, we did not win the fucking match. God, 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 God. I, I hate this game so much. I hate this game so fucking much. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I mean, all, all of the attacks we had, I mean, apart from the normal attacks where I just couldn't get past the defense, the, the ones were, the ones that were really obvious, for some reason, the game just slows on my players, or it just does some bullshit that just makes me unable to score the match, but, you know, there's really nothing I can do. I want to look at the standings for the La Liga. We are third. We are just two points, two point, two points behind, behind Barcelona. Uh, the same points with Real Madrid, so that is good. The Copa de Espana hasn't, hasn't started, so the Champions League, please tell me that we are not third. Tell me we are fucking third. Where's our team at? I have no idea where our team is. Uh, we are last. We are fucking last. We are actually fucking last in the Champions League. <laughs> good, 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 good. How, how, do you fuck, how do you fuck does this happen? Okay, so let's look at this. If the Rekuzen beat Rene, then Leverkusen will be on 11 points and Rene will be on 7 and if we beat these guys I mean we definitely have to beat these guys in order to progress and if these guys draw they will be on 9 points and 8 points and if I I uh, I win by a, a decent enough margin which I feel like I should then I'm going to be on top of the league on top of the on top of the group and if uh, Leverkusen win sorry if uh Rene win, they are going to be on 10 points, they are going to be on 8 points, I will still have a chance to pass them, so, I mean, we, we just have to win this next match in the, in the, uh, in the 
Premier League, sorry, in the Champions League. I'm tempted to play, but I don't really want to play because of time. So uh, let's just simulate all the way to this match. We have we have a youth youth academy thing coming up on the third. So I think I think I want to send send this car out to a new to a new place, and I mistakenly put that on the fourth. So uh, I went to scout. Okay, so nobody really. I mean, this guy, this guy is good enough. The keeper is good enough, and no one else. This guy is five mil. Whoa! What the fuck? Immediately come into my team. Immediately come into my team. I, I, I need, I need to, I, I need to search that guy out. I just send them back out to Netherlands. Or oh, what the hell do others do? Oh, that, that's for nine months. Okay, I, I want to send them to uh, England. Yeah. So England, six months. Or oh, let, let me just do three months yet again, and we should be good. I need to I need to look at that youth academy player that I just brought on 70 fucking one and he's 17. Dan Williams. That is that is a beast fucking player right there. And we have a bunch of players that I really am not interested in right now. Like uh you. Your your overall is good, but your potential is fucking shit. I'm just going to leave you in the team for now. And then you you are fucking shit, so I'm going to release you. And then uh you i mean your potential is really good so i wouldn't really do anything to you and i think i'm going to leave them for now i think i'm going to leave them for now yeah okay so what do we have we have the uh this match next hopefully we can win it i'm not playing the full match so there's no way that i'm i'm going to be completely confident that i'm going to win the match but okay we'll win high bar by a really really large margin three goals and this this would be a very fucking tough match right now. I think I think I want to use the second formation. I think I want to use the second formation. So I'm going to use that. And let's see who and who is on the bench right now. We have Schmidt. I'm going to bring in Schmidt. I'm not going to I'm not going to play Batch. I think I think I should be good with this. I think I should be very very fucking good with this. All right, so. Playable highlights. Oh, good. We haven't we haven't won one of these matches yet. I think we won one one nil. I'm not quite sure, but this is the last match I'm going to be playing for this episode though. It's it's, it's it's been really fucking tough to be honest. It's been really fucking tough. Really fucking tough. I'm I'm jumping straight into the match. Where our first order of business is a free kick here. And uh, I think I'm going to go short. I think I'm going to go short, and this should be a really good goal. Of course, of course, of course, he fucking saves it. Okay, next up we have we have a. Okay, I think I know what I want to do here. Okay, come on, who is coming? Okay, it's not it's not Fonseca that is coming. I actually wanted, I actually wanted Fonseca to come, but he's not the one. But let's see what I can do. Alright, so there's a solo run for them, and we have a defender here, so I mean, we should be, we should not have any problem defending this, of course, and counter-attack, I need both of you to run, like your fucking lives depend on it, German has been stopped out, look, they actually, they actually, they actually stopped fucking running, they actually stopped fucking running, thank you, that's good enough. Please score it. Thank you. Thank you so much for scoring that goal. Uh, okay, so all we have to do right now is defend as much as possible. I mean, as far as we win this match, there's no way we're not getting into the into the round of 16. I don't know why the fuck, why the fuck um, we are. I don't know why the fuck James on penalties. Supposed to be, supposed to be Fonteca. And let's see what this keeper can do. I mean, I mean, that sucks. That sucks because uh, you guys didn't really get to see the penalty being fucking lagged, and the entire penalty was just completely gone, and there's no replace. So, there's no way you can even see that penalty. This is a really good fucking free kick, really good chance, and let's just hope that nothing happens. I think I think I want to play it there. No, I'm, I'm, I'm always do that. I, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that confident in my penalties from my free kicks. 
So, I think this should be enough. Please. That was not good, but at least we were able to get the win and we are through to the round of 16. Definitely. Indefinitely, we are definitely through. So let's see if we have to top the group or not. So it's been a really good win at that. So uh You yeah, actually want to see actually want to see that goal. The the uh penalty. Was it a penalty? Yeah, it was It was, it was straight down the middle, right? I'm not exactly sure why things lagging at all, but it was it was straight down the middle. Yeah, I actually wanted I actually wanted them to go to go um bottom bottom right. I wanted them to go bottom right, but I don't know maybe they lagged like we set it to the middle and but it was able to we were able to um get the goal that way. So that's good for us. Let's look at our standings in the Champions League. Um. We are still third in the La Liga though, so in Champions League we are what? We are second. Um Leverkusen actually beats Rene. So we are second and that that's good enough for us. We are we're at least able to get into the round of sixteen of the Premier League. Sorry, of the of the um Champions League. So that is that is really good. We are third. Villarreal is um one point ahead. So I mean let's see if we can we can get oh 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 I mean, the, the, uh, this thing should be out right now, right? The Ballon d'Or winner should be out by now. Player of the year announced, okay, so who is it? Mbappe. Mbappe, that is, that, that's good for him. I actually, want, I actually wanted to know who, who was nominated, but I guess, I guess I did not, I did not, um, get to see who was nominated. I, I actually wish, I actually think Fonseca should have been nominated because he did really, really well last season. Like, really fucking well. And, uh, yeah, so let's just end the episode here. Let's finish your winning two matches. It's going to be against uh, Real, Real Sociedad and Getafe. So I mean, we should be able to get those two wins. Hopefully, we're home against Real Sociedad, so we should be able to get the win. Yes, we do 2 0. And then the next one will be against Getafe. I mean, they're away, so it's going to be slightly tougher for us, but our team should, should still be way better on paper. So we should get this win. We do not. We draw the match. And well, that's that's basically the end of this episode. So uh so Fonseca is actually joint top scorer with with um Werner with both on 18 matches as well. So that is really good for for him. And I, I think there's no one else in my team that's going to be on this list. Okay, Kallenberg is on six. Where the fuck is German? German is nowhere to be found on this list. Well, let's I just didn't see him, sorry. So uh let's look at the team real quick. Let's see. The stats. Alright, so German has only five goals this season. That is sad. German has done sorry, Fonseca has done seventeen. That is more than that is better than half of what he got last last season. So I mean, if he's able to keep this good run of form, then oh, he's actually injured. What the fuck? No, 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 no. How how long is he injured for? Oh, I could I could I could have just seen it there. What the fuck? I could have just seen it here. Um, he's injured for three weeks. That's that's perfect. So basically, the entirety of January he will be gone. So I think I, I think I should just like make the changes to the squad now. Yeah, I should definitely just do this now. And bring in Cabrera. All right, so that should be good for now. Really, really good episode. We, I mean, it was tough at first, but we're able to come out guns blazing in the, in the later part of the season. And uh, I don't think there's anyone that's really of any importance. Cabrera, maybe. No extension. No, I don't really care. So, um, anyways, yeah, this is the end of the episode. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let me know what you guys think about the season so far. What you think about the players? What you think about Schmidt in general? I, I don't think I don't think I really saw enough of him. In this in this episode maybe because i'm not really playing as much matches that i as i normally do so i really do not know how well he's playing or not but he's already on a 90 so he's he's legit the best player in our team right now so that is that is good for him so thank you guys for watching once again and i'll see you guys in the next video peace